Okay, for the start this off, I just want to say thank you guys for the support on my Lizzo video. It got over a thousand views, 50 likes, and a bunch of comments that are pretty supportive. And uh, I didn't expect that much support for that specific video. It got a lot more views than my previous video about Lizzo. But other than that, thank you for supporting my channel. So this came across my timeline, and I've been saving up of when I wanted to make a video about this because of this crazy story that's in regards of Uber Eats. If you don't know what Uber Eats is, it's basically Uber, but you order food from whatever takeout or restaurant that you're buying with you order it online on your phone your computer and then you wait for your delivery to come by for someone to pick up the order and deliver it to you whether an apartment or a house that you live in and this and that yada yada so this specific story that's in regards of this person's experience with uber eats is not a very fun one it took this tweet to go viral for uber eats to respond for the inconvenience that they caused which was pretty unfairly for the customer service that they've been providing for this person there's like three parts of the story so we're gonna start at the beginning Feldy makes a tweet saying yo at uber eats at uber support i have never seen worse customer service in my life my delivery driver stole my order even though it's misspelled but that's besides the point thanks for reaching out michael my name is Ga gan tavia okay from uber eats support i'll be assisting you today order he correct us misspelled nice bro sent a black screen as the picture i sincerely apologize that your order was not delivered to you from restaurant i appreciate you letting us know about it crazy this isn't the kind of experience we want you to have with us after reviewing your account i can see that this order isn't eligible for a refund what the the driver stole my food however we won't be able to provide you with a price adjustment on this order we always value your patience and understanding with regard to this matter what are you talking about i didn't get anything we understand that you are expecting a refund however we'll be able to provide you with a price adjustment on this order i need a full refund that's not acceptable why would i get an adjustment i didn't receive anything i understand Understand your disappointment over this matter since we have already informed you about the resolution that we could offer we are closing this chat here please feel free to contact us for any further queries or assistance thank you for understanding stay safe and healthy and this was the last picture enjoy your order adrian and ty patio worked their magic for you you could have saved 2.27 dollars on this order with uber one which is just pouring salt on the wound so they're basically letting away the driver that ate the person's food which should be considered a crime by the way and they're just gonna let this off okay and then they're gonna assume oh based off your account we cannot give you this order what did he do all right there's no evidence to provide of what he has done all over food keep in mind about that okay like imagine this was all for duck and donuts burger king mcdonald's all right and i keep saying this okay social media is a powerful tool regardless if you add the people that are responsible for the business of x y and z whether it's food movies or a video game and when the people see this and retaliate to reverse this decision the businesses will do it and think it was just a little whoopsie daisy but really they got cyber bullied for making the wrong decision tried to make another inquiry got connected to the same outsourced agent and he immediately closed the support ticket shameless we'll connect you to the next available customer representative and then the chat ended not really a great way to show your true colors okay you really don't care about your customers do you and it really had to take a viral tweet with over 130 likes to respond to the backlash that you have committed for bad customer service there is a happy ending to this which i will get into that with this tweet saying yo chat we did it thanks for ordering michael we updated your receipt for a tie patio you did have to pay for anything because a refund has been fulfilled uber eats did respond saying hi michael we're so sorry for this experience and understand your frustration we want to make things right so we've issued you a full refund on your recent order check your in-app messages for more details it's a shame it took three phone calls four different agents on the app and one viral tweet for justice yeah all because they couldn't get the order right like how difficult is it for you to get it your uber eats for christ's sake and since this is now full exposure on twitter but that depends on how many people still use this app because of the changes that elon musk has done that is basically killing the app it is most likely that they have probably had issued or has done their downfall for uber eats and most likely have canceled their subscription their uber Eats subscription because of the experience that michael had which is pretty unfortunate and unfair okay like imagine this happens to anybody or even a youtuber or even a person that we don't know yet or this random bystander that we see on twitter okay i don't think anybody should go through this and i don't think anybody should have to make a tweet just for this just for them to be served justice just just so they could get their order right and order delivered it doesn't make any sense it legit took a viral tweet 
for them to respond, okay? And not not the phone calls, the agents, nothing. Just a viral tweet. That's how quickly it is. If it's posted on a social media, it damages the reputation. And there it is. The damage is already done. And it's most likely going to happen again. But it depends if they change their behavior. So yeah, that's gonna be it. I really can't believe I had to take a viral tweet for them to respond. I don't know if I don't know if this is gonna be the same attitude they're going to give. But if it is, I'm not even surprised. And you're most likely most likely not gonna use Uber Eats after this video. With all that being said, um, I'm not gonna use Uber Eats even though I'm clean with it. I haven't ordered anything online that is in regard to food yet. This is Wolf Dog Gray, and I'll be seeing you all later. See ya.